Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense. Hope that you guys are doing well. Yeah, our moth is coming out with those Club de Nuit flankers. Club de Nuit intense flankers. Today we're talking about Club de Nuit intense pure parfum. Ooh, pure parfum. That sounds elegant. So in today's video, I'll show you guys the presentation for Club de Nuit Intense Man Pure Parfum. I'll break it down. I'll compare it to the original and also the limited edition and let you know which one you should buy if you have none of them. And also let you know, should you get this if you already have this? So let's jump into it. Ah, yes. Armoff Club de Nuit Intense, the most heralded, most beloved fragrance in the fragrance community of all time. Oh wait, no, uh, no, that's not right. Armoff is very much a love it or hate it brand. There are people that will buy every single Armoff fragrance and think that they are an amazing bang for your buck company. And then you have other people that hate every single thing they've ever done. I'm somewhere in between. There are some Armoff fragrances that I think are absolutely terrible, complete gutter trash, fragrances that I would not wish upon my greatest enemy. Actually, just playing, I would. Uh, greatest enemies, may you ever smell like Armoff Cray Spray. But then they also have fragrances that are a great bang for your buck, where the quality is very high and the performance is great, much better than you would expect. And they do make fragrances that are fantastic alternatives for much more expensive scents. So I guess a quick story on how we got here. First off, you had Armoff Club de Nuit Man. That one is an alternative to Paco Rabanne's One Million. It's got nothing to do with Club de Nuit Intense. Then you had the original Club de Nuit Intense Man, which I've got right here. And this is an older bottle with the uh, silver atomizer. Now they're black. And then they had an Eau de Parfum version of this, which most people say the Eau de Parfum smells just like the Eau de Toilette. Then you had the limited edition which is also an Eau de Parfum, so don't get confused because there's Club de Nuit Intense Eau de Parfum and then Club de Nuit Intense Eau de Parfum Limited Edition, and those two smell different. And then you had the Club de Nuit Intense Oil. So you basically unscrew it, and then you would take the oil here and rub it on your skin. At this point, they've got Club de Nuit Intense everything. They've got shower gel, they have pomade for your hair. Uh, they've got it all. I think they've got candles. I don't know, man. Anything you can think Club de Nuit, they got. And that brings us finally, finally, to here, the Pure Parfum. So seeing that there was a Club de Nuit Intense Pure Parfum got me interested to see, is this better than the original? Does it smell the exact same as the original? Is it better than the limited edition? Where does it slot in? How does it work? So let's finally check it out, starting with the presentation. Here we got the front of the box where you have the name of the fragrance, the size, and the concentration. On one side, you have a seal of authenticity, and on the other side, it says Club de Nuit Intense. Up on top of the box, it says Armoff, and a little bit of information on the back with your ingredients. On the bottom, you'll find your badge code. My bottle was produced in August of 2021, and it's supposed to expire August 2026. And here we have the bottle done up in the traditional Club de Nuit Intense style. Looks pretty much the exact same as the Club de Nuit Intense bottle. On the side, it says Club de Nuit. The cap clicks into place. And on the bottom, you'll find your sticker. And your batch code is printed in ink on the bottom of the bottle, which doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense because this is a black bottle. So printing with black ink over top that makes it where it's not really legible. And as I mentioned before, you have a black atomizer on here, our moth on top of it. And I'll go ahead and waste a couple sprays. It's okay, it's not great. I'll have each one of these linked in the description below at fragrancebuy.ca and I'll also give you the pricing at fragrancebuy as of this video. Keep in mind that the price could change as time goes, so if you watch this in the future, it may be different. And I'm using fragrancebuy.ca because that's where I could find each one of these fragrances at the other discounters. I couldn't find all three. So the original CDNIM, this one is 105 mils and it costs roughly $27 as of when I'm filming the video. The limited edition, also 105 mils, $63 for this one. So over twice the amount as compared to the original. And then the Pure Parfum is 150 milliliters. So it has 45 more milliliters than the others. And this one is about $62. 
So really, really close to the limited edition in terms of pricing, but 45 more milliliters. All right, let's talk about the smell, finally. So Club de Nuit Intense Man, as I mentioned before, and as pretty much all of you know, or should know, or will know, is the biggest, most popular Creed Aventus clone or alternative on the market. And that's because for a lot of people, it gets them very close to the scent profile of Creed Aventus, but it is way, way cheaper. And it also has great performance as well. And a lot of people really care about performance. So it helps that Club de Nuit Intense Man projects heavily and lasts forever. The big drawback with Club de Nuit Intense Man, the original, is the opening. For a lot of people, it's harsh, it's chemically. It comes across smelling like a lemon spray, like household cleaner. And that will turn a lot of people away from the fragrance. They'll smell that opening and just say, oh no, that's trash, the quality is not good, I don't like it. If you let it dry down though, it does smooth out and that's where a lot of people say it shines. So how does Club de Nuit Intense Man Pure Parfum stack up as compared to the original? To me, the Pure Parfum edition is smoother off the top. It's more balanced. So that pineapple citrus combination comes across smelling much more pleasant as compared to the original. It doesn't have that harshness to it. It's been toned down, it's been smoothed out, it's been cleaned up a little bit. I might be able to pick out ever so slightly a little bit more of the black currant and the florals in the original in the opening as compared to the Pure Parfum. But on the whole, the opening, as I said, much smoother, much more pleasant, much more well-rounded, and a little bit richer in the Pure Parfum as compared to the original. And between the two, I think Pure Parfum smells better in the opening. In the Pure Parfum, as it dries down, the birch comes out, starts to lend a little bit of a smoky, woodsy feel to the fragrance. Some of that sparkle from the citrus kind of fades away. You still have this lightly sweetened, lemony scent profile, along with remnants of the pineapple, but that sparkly, almost effervescent pop that you get from the citrus initially, that fades away as the birch comes in. And interestingly enough, I would say that into the mid, the Pure Parfum actually has a little more of a smoky feel to it as compared to the original. And the original also does not smell as, as rich. It doesn't smell as well-defined as the Pure Parfum. Into the far dry down, the Pure Parfum smells pretty much what you would expect a Parfum version of Club de Nuit Intense Man to smell like. It smells richer, with more depth, more complexity, less synthetic. Now, I'm not gonna say it smells hyper natural or anything like that, but comparing it to the original, it does have less of that chemical feel to it. And same way as in the opening in the mid, it's smoother in the dry down compared to the original. And on the whole, I think it's a better fragrance. As I said, you can really think of this in a very simple way as it is what a parfum version of Club de Nuit Intense Man, the original Eau de Toilette or the Eau de Parfum should smell like. Smoother, more balanced, richer, more complex on the whole, just more pleasant, nicer smelling. And because the notes are blended together better in the Pure Parfum, it rectifies some of the issues that the original had, which is where you would have sometimes in the opening, the mid or the dry down, certain notes that would stick out like a sore thumb. So as an example, the easiest one to point out, that lemon in the opening of the original. Some people hate it, as I said earlier, because it does have a harshness, a synthetic chemical vibe, and it sticks out above everything else. It, it makes itself known. It's really aggressive in your face. Here, everything is working together in harmony a little bit better. Now, in terms of performance, projection is worse in the Pure Parfum as compared to the original Off My Skin. It's not as aggressively strong. It's not as in your face. It's not slapping your nose around and letting you know what's going on. It's smoother. It's a little more subtle. The projection is still good though. It's not that it's a bad projecting fragrance. It's not below average in terms of its strength. It's just not as strong as the original. Longevity is very good though. Eight plus hours off my skin. And you would expect that with the Club de Nuit Intense Man line because it is a pretty strong line on the whole as far as performance goes. So I guess the real question here, which of these is best? The Pure Parfum, the limited edition, or the original? It's a little tricky because it's not necessarily one size fits all. I would say the best quality one, if you're just looking for the nicest smelling of the bunch, you don't care about how much you're getting, you don't care about the price or anything like that. The best one is this one, the limited edition. I think on the whole, 
The limited edition is the most pleasant. It's the nicest smelling. It smells the most expensive, I guess. If you want to dumb it down, it smells like it has the highest quality. In particular, the citrus there in the limited edition is very nice. It's smooth, well executed, well put together. Of course, it makes sense that that would smell the best, the highest quality, because it's the most expensive by a wide margin. Because again, it's $1 more than the Pure Parfum, but you're getting 45 milliliters less. After that one, as far as which one smells the best, it's the Pure Parfum. I think it's nicer overall, as I've detailed in this video, compared to the original. Plus, you're getting a little bit more there. You're getting 150 milliliters, so it's gonna last you a long, long time. But then if you don't wanna spend much money at all, you could still go with the original. I do think the other two versions smell nicer, smoother, better defined, better blended, all of that. But there's no denying how well Club de Nuit Intense Man has worked for so many people, and it's under $30, so it's crazy cheap. Because under $30, it, it's hard to find a lot of fragrances that are really gonna get the job done for you, and that one does. So of course, Club de Nuit Intense Man, as I've said a number of times, it's a clone of Creed Aventus. And as with most clones, when you would wear Aventus is basically when you would wear Club de Nuit Intense Man. And Aventus being Aventus, it's known for versatility, so that makes Club de Nuit Intense Man nearly a year-round fragrance. I would say high heat situations in summer. You know, when it's really hot in summer, I'd go for something else. But outside of that, you know, that specific time, you can wear this about anywhere. Daytime, nighttime, date night, night out, to the office, as long as you don't spray it on too crazy. Obviously, casually, you can wear it as well. A lot of versatility here. And when I first started smelling Armand fragrances years ago, seemed to be about 50-50. 50% of the time the fragrances were pretty good, 50% of the time they were unwearably bad. But lately, over the last few years, they've been up in their game a bit, and their releases seem to be getting more consistently high quality. Which of course is really good news for people that like Armoff or people that are looking for cheap alternatives to other scents. And I'd say on the whole, Club de Nuit Intense Man, Pure Parfum, is a step in the right direction. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me today. Again, links in the description to these in case you want to check them out. Stay safe out there, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.